Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, July 25th, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. The tropics look to be the big story as we could have a hurricane making a landfall on the Texas coastline later today. While our shower and thunderstorm chances remain elevated today and through the next six days, at least. Let's see what we got to deal with. We'll start off with the action in the tropics. As of the 10 p.m. Friday night update from the National Hurricane Center, Tropical Storm Hannah was in a strengthening phase that may continue until she makes landfall around or just after midday on Saturday. Maximum sustained winds were at 65 miles per hour while she was moving to the west at 8 miles per hour. By the time you see this video, she may have already strengthened into a Category 1 hurricane. A hurricane warning is up from Port Mansfield to Mesquite Bay, Texas, while tropical storm warnings are up from Mesquite Bay to High Island, Texas, and from Barra El Mesquital, Mexico to Port Mansfield, Texas. A storm surge warning is up from Baffin Bay to Sargent, Texas. At this point, landfall for the center of Hannah looks to be just south of Corpus Christi near Baffin Bay. The forecast storm surge of 1 to 3 feet will occur south of the landfalling center, while the surge will range from 1 to 5 feet north of the center. Rainfall amounts over the next three days could reach as high as 6 to 10 inches in the orange areas, 4 to 6 inches in the yellow, and 1 to 3 inches in the shades of green. These heavy amounts could result in life-threatening flash flooding and isolated minor to moderate river flooding. After landfall, Hannah is expected to weaken rapidly and should dissipate over the rugged terrain of northern Mexico. We can't forget about Tropical Storm Gonzalo out there in the Atlantic as he continues to move westward at 17 miles per hour toward the southern windward islands. As of the 10 p.m. Friday night update, maximum sustained winds have stabilized at 40 miles per hour after dropping in speed throughout the day. Dry air continues to be pulled into this small storm and it is possible that Gonzalo may weaken into a depression before impacting the Windward Islands. After that, Gonzalo is expected to dissipate within the next two to three days. Last but not least, we have a tropical wave that has been designated as Invest 92L off of the coast of Africa and is a few hundred miles south of the Cabo Verde Islands. As it moves westward, Steady organization and strengthening will occur over the next several days and could become a tropical depression early next week. It is too early to know for sure where 92L will go, but if it becomes a tropical storm, it will be called Isaias. Now let's shift from the tropics to what we'll see across central Alabama for your Saturday and through the following six days. For your Saturday, we'll lose the tropical influence of Hannah somewhat on our weather pattern and start to see an increase in effects from a mid-level trough start to take over. We'll continue to be hot and humid, but afternoon highs will remain a little lower due to the number of clouds in the sky. Showers and thunderstorms will form during the late morning and persist through the afternoon and evening hours. They will be scattered in nature so not everyone will see rain. Afternoon highs will be in the lower 90s with heat indices in the 100 to 105 degree range. We'll continue to see the same forecast for your Sunday as scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms will fill parts of the radar image across central Alabama. Once again, not everyone will see rain, but there will be a decent chance for everyone. Highs will be in the lower to mid 90s. Scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms will be possible for much of the day across central Alabama on Monday as even more tropical moisture begins to flow up into the area. While it may remain muggy, Temperatures will be on a slight cooling trend with the cloud cover and rain in place. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. Moisture continues to flow into the area on Tuesday making showers and thunderstorms likely during the daylight hours with showers potentially lingering through the evening and overnight hours. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. Same story for your Wednesday, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms likely during the daylight hours with a few lingering into the late night and overnight hours. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. Much of the same on your Thursday, with highs reaching the mid 80s to the lower 90s. 
Moisture levels look to be decreasing somewhat for your Friday and so do the chances of rain and thunderstorms. At this point chances remain elevated but not as likely. At this point most of the activity may stay over the northern parts of central Alabama and up into north Alabama. Highs will be in the mid 80s to the lower 90s. That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.